Hey you guys, I'm back at it again with the wet hair. So yeah, I did just take a shower. Welcome back to my channel for another video. Yay! I'm telling you, it's like video madness, makeup madness up in this B-I-T-C-H. <clears throat> I'm still kind of sick. I'm still kind of coughing. So there's that. Um, but yeah, I'm back here today because I have um, another unboxing. I bought something online maybe like a couple days after I put my Morphe order in for that Jeffree Star palette. And um... I bought something else and it just got here you guys know how I do it as soon as it gets here I get right in front of the camera so we can unbox it together this is the box and um, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up with some scissors got my handy dandy scissors and let's take a peek and see what is in this box everything has a bubble wrap which is good I'm excited for this palette ever since oh shit I just kind of gave away what it is yes it is another eyeshadow palette this palette has been out for a while and ever since I saw you know that it was coming out I was like really wanting the palette I had planned to purchase this palette but for, I can't recall but for some reason I never actually bought it until right now Does it look familiar? Do you guys recognize right off the bat like what palette I am unboxing right now? <clears throat> the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette from the Summer Collection. Today is Friday the 13th and I'm like I'm praying to God. I'm like please let this palette come. Please make sure nothing happens to this palette. Please, please, please because it's Friday the 13th and like bad luck and whatnot. <clears throat> it took a while to get here though. Um, usually I'll get like the mail in the afternoon, like 1 30. It's like 3 right now. So I've been waiting all morning and all day. I didn't order this palette off of Jeffree Star's like website. I actually bought it through Morphe because Morphe sells Jeffree Star cosmetics. If you go to Jeffree Star's website, the palette's $58. If you go to Morphe, the palette's also $58. The difference between the Morphe website and Jeffree Star's website, um, Jeffree Star charges more for shipping. Um, the cheap, the cheapest shipping price that um, was on Jeffree Star Cosmetics website was twelve dollars and some change, and you'll get it within three days. And on the Morphe website, they're offering the palette, and their standard shipping is from two to seven days, and the sh shipping for that is five dollars and some change. So it was a, it was cheaper to buy this palette through Morphe rather than through Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And I thought that was kind of something interesting to note too. I even took screenshots of like the receipts because I went on both websites, put in like my order and like took a screenshot of like the taxes, the shipping and then the price from both websites. So So the shipping and the taxes um, are a little bit cheaper through Morphe than through Jeffree Star's Cosmetics. Uh, so I saved about like five, six dollars. Jeffree Star has a Morphe discount code and I used it for the Morphe palette. Um, I used the J-Star discount code to get 10% off um, my purchase, but not for the Jawbreaker. The Jawbreaker, there is no discount code for the Jawbreaker. I'm sorry if I was getting your hopes up, but no. You can't use a discount like code or promotion code or anything like that to get some money off the palette. But you could go through Morphe if you're trying to save some money because um, the shipping is way less. It does take longer. It's two to seven days compared to Jeffree Star's where his is $12 shipping for three days. And so if you want to save some money on this palette and not pay like a couple bucks, um, yeah, order it through Morphe. I ordered this palette through Morphe. Nonetheless, I am super excited, super looking forward to this freaking palette because when I tell you when Jeffree Star um, made a Twitter status that he was his collection for the summer was coming out soon, we're all going to be excited for it. I'm like, I, I was like, man, I hope it's colors. I hope there are summer colors. I hope there's a lot of color in this palette. And then when I actually saw like the reveal of like the collection, I was just so in love with this palette i'm like oh my god i really want this palette and i was going to get it but i don't remember what happened that i ended up not getting it i don't know but i'm happy that i have it now and guess who paid for this palette because i did not pay for this palette i paid for the morphe palette with my money but this jawbreaker palette my boyfriend paid for so thank you if you're watching this babe thank you so much for this palette so yes okay so let's go ahead so this is what it looks like 
<clears throat> it's like, okay, let's freaking take it out. Let's actually hold the actual palette in my hands right now. Who your girl is way too excited. Like she is excited. I'm more excited about this palette than the Morphe palette. Way more. Like way more excited. Oh boy. And then this is the back of it. There's nothing on the back except some information. Oh man. This palette though. Oh my god. I have to close that back up. You guys, where is my plastic thing? Look. Where's my little plastic protective thing for the eyeshadow? Isn't it supposed to come with that? Or what? Whatever. I'm just gonna get past that because none of my eyeshadows are ruined or cracked or anything. But none of the eyeshadows look disrupted. But some of the eyeshadows mm -hmm. kind of printed on, you know what I mean? There's a little bit of like eyeshadow dust. Like on the rim of the palette, like out here. I don't know what it is, but it's like sticky. You guys see that right there? I don't know what that is, but it's like kind of sticky, like glue or something. And then like on the rim, it's got a little bit on the rim right there. Um, But overall, the palette looks... <clears throat> I mean, the palette is just... <sighs> the palette is amazing, you guys. You can't go wrong. Jeffree Star really knows how to make a statement with his packaging, like especially with his eyeshadows. I never used anything from him, so I'm really curious to see how his eyeshadows perform, how they blend, the pigmentation. Okay, I'm gonna swatch a couple colors that are like catching my attention. So I'm gonna take this color called <laughs> F-U-C-K. It's like a neon, it's like a really bright neon peachy color it looks doesn't look as bright in my finger oh my god i'm not flicking nobody off i'm sorry but yeah this is called f-u-c-k this is what it looks like this is f-u-c-k i'm gonna try this yellow shade in here which is called wow and it's a yellow shade oh my goodness the pigmentation like as far as swatching looks really good so that yellow shade is called wow and wow, I'm impressed. So far, I am like really have high hopes for this palette. We'll swatch Gumdrop. These are very like light pastel colors. Now, I, I wouldn't say neon. I definitely would say pastel. So this is Gumdrop. This is the shade Wow. And this is the shade F-U-C-K. What is Lemon Drop all about? Ooh, the metallics feel way more creamy. Okay, let me try... And what? That's the name of the shade. Okay, so the metallics, they're very much more creamy as far as the formula compared to the mattes. The mattes are like more powdery feeling. Um, not in a bad way. I'm just describing like the textures of the eyeshadows. Ooh, I super love orange juice. Yeah, so that's tasty right there. Yeah, so those are a couple of the shades that I was kind of catching my eye at first glance. Um, this time I don't have my eyebrows filled in I don't have concealer on my eyelids or anything like that I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera so I'll come back with all of that done so you don't have to like sit there and watch me do this all right you guys I'll be right back okay you guys I put my hair up and I did my eyebrows and I put concealer to carve out my eyebrows and to prep for eyeshadow and I put in a little bit of eyeshadow primer on top and I'm going to put virgin everywhere all over the lid you guys already know this to set my concealer slash primer. So I packed the, the shade Virgin all over my eyelids and now I'm blending it in, like blending it upwards all the way up to my brow bone. Then I'll fall and like stuff is, is coming. Um, like the fall looks and stuff, they're coming up next, you guys. So I'm getting this last little bit of like fun and colorful looks out the way, like out of my system. But I'm gonna start doing fall looks pretty soon. If you guys are interested in more like fall looks, like brown looks, neutral looks, natural looks, nat like you know, fall inspired looks, stay tuned because they are coming, y'all. It's like a medium blending brush. And I'm going to take the shade that is called um, F-U-C-K. I'm going to like pack it on first.
So I just kind of cleaned off my brush a little bit. And I'm going to go in with the same brush and go in with the shade that is called Bubblegum. And put that on the outer. And I'm just placing my colors right now for the crease. I'm not doing any blending work just yet. And we're looking good so far. Blend right up against the edges of the of Bubblegum and F-U-C-K. This is what I have so far. Pick up Snack on a Morphe M124 brush and start putting her all over that concealer. I'm gonna take the shade Cherry Wet. And put that on the outer. A small like angled eyeliner brush and I'm gonna take the shade cherry wet but I'm gonna take this right up against the edge of the cut crease to kind of like outline my cut crease with the shade this is like basically what the eye is going to look I'm gonna get off camera I'm gonna finish my other eye off camera and I'm gonna do finish off my whole face off camera shortest video ever all right guys be right back I like this hairstyle for me not I do my lower lash line after everything is done um, so I didn't get it on film but I did take the yellow eyeshadow in the palette under my lower lash line it is called Wow so I took the shade Wow and I put it on my lower lash line and then I just curled my lashes and put on mascara on my top lashes and bottom lashes and I did my full face and the last thing to do is lips so for lips I'm going to take my NYX wooden lip liner in the shade London and I'm gonna use this to line my lips. The lipstick, I'm gonna go in with this, what is this? With this Maybelline Cream Lipstick in the shade Truffle Tease number 930. So this is what I'm gonna putting on my lips today. Jordana Lip Pigment, or Pigment Shine. They call it a Pigment Shine. It's a lip gloss with like a lot of color in it. And it's the shade um, Don't Be Late, 04. And I appreciate you guys for taking the time to, for watching this video. Enjoy the rest of your guys' day, and I will see you guys back in the next video. Bye.